Hey, hi there, Leo. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekend reading, July 5th to the 7th of 2019. Leo, Sun, Moon, and Ascendance. This is a predictive, condensed general reading. Please only take those portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me out a lot, and it helps to bring your vibration into those future readings. I also send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out that description box below. There is a free birth chart calculator at the bottom. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Leo. Off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Number 13 of the Major Arcana in the Rider weight deck. The Moon. This can be a Pisces. Sun, Moon, or Ascendance. This card deals in the realm of imagination. Dreams, intuition, and subconscious. These can be unforeseen perils and feeling insecure. It could deal with your imagination because you're not seeing clearly on the path ahead. It's because things are in the shadows. You just don't know everything yet. This is exploring the inner unknown. It represents fantasies and dreams. This moon's reflected light has always around strange passions. And the moon brings out the animal and the primeval side in us. There are deep fears we can never name, for they come from within ourselves. Such fears never entirely surface and will always sink back again. And if we accept this strange side of us, the moon will calm as well as arouse. You may be facing some emotional tests and feel moody. The moon represents feelings and responses to these feelings. This is... Someone being creative and imaginative, empathetic, emotional, artistic, or psychologically adventurous. They're easily influenced and they might be moody and feel misunderstood. This is the end of a major cycle, but things are still changing. It's mutable or dreamy qualities in relationships, romance and communion of the souls. It's a metamorphosis within the self. And now your second card. And this is the energy that's crossing over your path. This can be a challenge. The Three of Swords, Leo. This is air energy. Represents a painful truth. A difficult loss. A flash of understanding. It's a dif difficult realization. Your hopes were probably higher than the results. And there's some sorrow and regret and separation. There's some severance, and you're feeling isolated from something you love. And you're feeling the pain of separation. This is suffering that comes from holding on to the past. Loss and sorrow could be a betrayal, a necessary sacrifice. Could be the end of something, or the loss of trust due to a betrayal. Could be a rejection or losing your job. Could be the end of some sort of ailment through surgery or letting go of some way of thinking that's no longer useful. It's not an easy loss, but the release will make room for further growth and maturity. Pain is a strong motivator to change, and there's something you can fix, and when you do, you'll grow. This could be a third party involved, depression and longing and separation through distance. It could be cutting to the heart of the matter. At the end of the disagreement that you may have had with someone, there will be relief after tension or an argument. It's at hand. You may need to forgive and forget. It's a flash of understanding. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. It's your attitude. The Ten of Cups, Leo. This is water energy. Represents emotions and feelings. This is shared love, it's homecoming, it's a happy family life and contentment. And your family is a source of joy at this time. And you should be enjoying yourself with your family at this time. This is being serene and blissful and emotionally fulfilled and liberated. It's loving unconditionally and appreciating abundance. 
and living your dreams and enjoying family. There is pregnancy indicated in, in this reading. Your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Number seven of the Major Arcana in the Rider weight deck, the Chariot. This is a Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Ascendance. This is a clear sense of purpose. It's triumph and success and control over the forces of nature, thus triumph over ill health, as well as money difficulties or enemies of any sort, including one's own lower animal passions. This can indicate travel and comfort. This is mental and physical powers that lead to fulfillment and putting commitment to the test. Could be a struggle or a conflict of interest. This is a favorable card. Victory is assured. This is a competent personality and a fight for self-assertion. This is that little extra push hard that you can fix any trouble that arrives. It's soul tests and advancements. Movement fueled by planning and willpower and waiting for conditions to be just right. But when are they ever? This is advice not to let your emotions throw you off course. This is using control in a kind and gentle manner because you have the Empress here. You'll need to pay attention to details and focus on a goal and nurture this situation. And now your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. This is the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. Someone may be pregnant. Number three of the major arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Empress. This can be a Taurus or a Libra. The ruling, car, the ruling planet is Venus. Uh, you've got the moon card here with you, which represents pregnancy. And changes in the body can also be an evolution of consciousness through experiencing life. And with the chariot card, this is also a physical birth and our need for privacy. Or someone has a venereal disease. The Empress card is relating in natural growth. Reminds us that if we are patient and gentle and caring, we can create fertility. This is hard work paying off. Someone could be mothering or caretaking or nurturing yourself or others. Could be showing hospitality, freely giving or openly receiving and appreciating. Savoring comfort and pleasure. Could be making or spending money or thriving. This person is a trailblazer. This is a powerful, positive energy. It's an omen for success and a symbol of hope. This is Empress that represents the productive generative activities. Okay, now your Oracle deck. From the Sacred Traveler by Denise Lynn. Get another big moon there. Journey by Moonlight. Believe in magic. Leo, magic is all around you. Spiritual dimensions and mystical realms are only a thought away. The veil is thin right now between you and the realm of the fairies, elves, angels, and spirit beings. It's indeed a magical universe, and the key to opening the doors to those realms is to trust. Even if you can't see, trust that you are being supported in mysterious and wondrous ways. All is not as it seems. Trust your intuition and those nudges from spirit believe. The sacred traveler wants you to know that when the traveler journeys by moonlight, mystical beings emerge and magic abounds in the depths of the enchanted forest. Even though the traveler can't see clearly, he trusts that blessings and support are being showered over him in his life. The key to having miracles transpire in your life is to believe in magic and trust that you are supported by unseen beings in accordance with your highest good. And the moon tells us that the reason why you're feeling some insecurities is because you can't see the road ahead. You just have to trust that everything's going to be okay. Okay, Leo, your animal message by the deck by 
Susie Green is a moose. Leo, you've got moose. With self-reliance and measured patience, adversity will be overcome. Mythic moose, primal in her power, ranges mysteriously alone through the world's great boreal forest, taking with her her own decisions and vigorously defending herself with sharp hooves and mighty charges. Moose teaches the self-reliance that develops strength of character and the ability to overcome adversity. Secure, Moose has no need to rush into love and thereby court failure. She counsels that you too let love come in on its own time and so create a relationship of trust, profundity, and true meaning. Leo, here's your take note moment. The law of your mind is the law of belief. We must know what belief is, why it works, and how it works. We need to believe in the way our mind works, to actually believe in belief itself. The belief of your mind is the thought of your mind. It's just that simple. Just that. All of our experiences in life, events, conditions, and acts are the reaction of our subconscious mind to our thoughts. Okay, Leo, more next time, so I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.